Hey everybody, so I've got a double unboxing video for you. This one's going to be Interludium, which is a brand new studio album by a um, German power metal band, Powerwolf. Formed in 2003, this is their ninth studio album. Their last studio album, Call of the Wild, I thought was awesome. And I've actually listened to off this, Sainted by the Storm. It's the only song I've heard off this because it was posted everywhere. I believed... I thought the song was um like a standalone song, like some bands have just done like one song where they posted them on um Spotify and stuff, but then this was available for pre-order, so I pre-ordered it straight away because I've got their entire back catalogue. <coughs> I didn't even know that I was having a new studio album out. I thought this was a compilation album because I've released a couple of other, um albums where it's their uh, songs but other bands have covered them. So I thought it was that one and then when I found it was a brand new studio album, I was like, ah cool. I know you can get an earbook edition of this with like three, four discs and you can get an edition where you get a goblet and everything. The reason why I haven't got these versions is purely because of funds, because of me living on my own and working full time. I just about managed to get the vinyl and the standard CD. So when I get the chance, I'll be picking up the earbook edition and the digipack and all that sort of stuff. So we'll get them at a later date. So yeah, let's get into this. I should do the vinyl first and I absolutely cannot wait. I can't remember if this is a standard black vinyl or if it's coloured or something, but I'm um, still awesome and I, I absolutely can't wait to listen to it. Their last studio album, Call of the World, wasn't too bad. I didn't mind the album, but I thought um, the album before that was absolutely fantastic. So let's get into this. Um, let me show you the inlay or the cover. That is typical Power Wolf, which is awesome. The back with the um, track listing. Then we have um, ooh, lyric sheet. There's the credits. Lyric sheet, and for anybody who doesn't know about this band, Attila Dawn, Matthew Greywolf, Charles Greywolf, Folk, Maria. Schlegel and Rolf Van Helden. The thing is with um Matthew Grey Wolf and Charles Grey Wolf, I'm forever getting them two mixed up. So somebody's like, oh no, that's Matthew and that's Charles. I'm forever getting them two mixed up, which is a bit of a pain because I keep forgetting who's who. That's the only thing downside. Ooh, you actually get a poster. Oh, that's cool. I'll get this out and show you. I didn't even know there was a poster with this one. So let's try and get this out without, without ripping it. So there you go. That is pretty badass. If you can see that. Probably can't see much because of the video. But there you go. Which is awesome. So that is well cool. I didn't even know there was a poster in there. But that that's cool. I will be looking for say the poster on its own separately from the vinyl. Because I never take them out of the vinyl and stick them on the wall. So if it's like with an album, you get a patch or something free. I don't, I just, um, it stays in there. And if it was a picture disc, it wouldn't get opened. It would get stay sealed and I'd just put it in the frame. So here's the vinyl. Um, side A and side B. As you can see, the way I, oh, when I don't drop it, the way I hold my vinyl, I never pinch them purely because of, you know, getting finger marks and all that sort of stuff on the vinyl. So I hold it different differently to most people and somebody was asking me about the vinyl of when I can actually get this away how I store the vinyl so I've been asked by a couple of people I've got the plastic sleeves but I'll put that in the sleeve and then that will just go at the back like that it will and it doesn't go back in it's purely because then um or it would just go because this one's okay it will probably go in the middle like that and not at the back and not in the thing purely because I don't want the ring mark because I know some vinyl that I've had and you've got that ring mark which I do not want so that's the vinyl out the way so let's get the CD this is a standard edition CD so I will be looking for the other one at some point um, but I can actually get the available funds so there's the CD edition I will be playing this the moment I've done this video I'll be sticking the vinyl on first because vinyl is my go-to but I do collect CD and it's purely just the reason why I've said to people I collect CDs 
is some CDs you get like a two disc edition where you get an extra disc with like a live gig some unreleased and stuff and it's not available on vinyl it's only the CD version that's the reason why I buy it and it's purely because of that or purely because sometimes I'll play the hell out of the CD there's the oh there's the CD ignore the ring light inlay let me get this CD out Bear with me, I've got to get out without ruining the book. I've ruined a couple of books trying to get them out. Bit of a pain, but um, I've actually seen these about four or five times. The last time I seen them was Bloodstock Open Air, um, Sacrament, I believe it was Sacrament of Sin Tour, and they were brilliant again. The first time I seen them was in London, and they blew me away. And then I've seen them in Birmingham, I believe it was Manchester, and various other places. So, um, Let's get into this. Here's the lyrics. Walls of War. Then we have Scented by the Storm. And some artwork. And there is Falk Marie Schlegel. I probably butchered that um, unless I said it right. No Pair at Midnight, which is cool. And there we have Attila Dawn with My Will Be Done. I know that's not their, I believe that's not their proper names. Because I know they've got proper names. It's probably just their stage name. Or There's the full band, which is awesome. The only thing about this band, which a few people have said, where's the bass player? They don't have a bass player because it's taped. Which um, doesn't bother me, but a few people was asking. Altars on Fire. Then we have um, Wolfborn. I'm just going to guess, is that Child Grey Wolf? And I'm guessing that's Matthew Grey Wolf. I've probably gone the wrong way around, but let me know in the comments. Um, Stronger Than the Sacrament lyrics. Then we have um, Living on a Nightmare. Cool. Then we have it's Betty Do Jevodan. I've probably butchered that, but um, there's Roll Van, the drummer. And then we have the credits and where it was recorded, and another picture of Attila Dawn. And obviously, the back of the book is just the track listing. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm Interludium Power Wolf. I will put a link in the description for the band. So, if somebody comes across this band and it grabs them. I do highly recommend them if you love your power metal, you've definitely got to love and check these out. I know somebody who is an immensely huge Power Wolf fan and she's seen them um, more times than most people have had at dinners. Which is a die-hard fan and, you know, which is awesome. So, huge respect to you. And you know who you are and you're probably watching this video. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do run a group on Facebook called Power Symphonic. If you can see the poster flag at the back and it's dedicated to stuff like Memories of Old, Power Wolf, Man of War, Stratovarius, Halloween, Gamma Ray, Nightwish, Epic Ad, Grail Knights, and Beast in Black, Battle Beast, that sort of good stuff. So for the genres of power metal, symphonic power metal, symphonic metal, epic metal, fantasy metal, neoclassical metal, traditional metal, apathetic metal, um, space metal and all that sort of good stuff. So like Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, Dungeons and Dragons, that sort of good stuff. So feel free to join the group and um, you know check it out. Just agree to the rules. It's just stuff like no racism, keep group, the group calm and friendly, share the lovely bands and everything. I'm forever posting bands, and the um some groups are not in, are only interested in the well established bands. Well, this group, we love the up and coming bands. So any bands that are just coming out and have just got like an EP and everything, we love supporting the bands. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're new to this channel, if you want to um, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that sort of good stuff. I mainly do unboxing videos, but then I do gig reviews. My next one is in June, so I'm seeing a man of Marth in Wolverhampton. I'm planning on um, May, I'm thinking of May, of going to Birmingham, if I can get the funds to see Battleborn, which are a great up-and-coming power metal band. And there I'm on in Birmingham, I've seen them twice, so hopefully I can see them. So yeah, just um, good, um, you know, give me a like if you want and follow me. So I'll see you in the next unboxing video. So have a good one. I'll see you later.